when using the De Andrea facing a bowing head, you need to make some sort of anti-rotation clamp or, or holder. Normally you would put a rod or a stick in the head and mount it to a fixed point uh, on the table. But if you are using the head to face a part or, or something similar, you can do so. Some people will make a clamp that bolt the, the head to the spindle and in that way keep it from spinning around. But I came up with the idea that I made a plate to bolt in the top of the vertical head and making a rod that go down to a, a ball link or ball bearing link that's bolted to the head. But as you can see, it's way too, too, um, too weak. So I will make a much la larger rod and hopefully that will pre prevent it from being so, so, um, yeah, so, so weak. It, it can hold the, the head from rotating, but when I use the handle, you can see it will move uh, in both directions and I don't want to, uh, I don't want it to be like so. So I will make a, a larger rod in between. The rod or the shaft will be bolted to the plate and this rod will be bolted in the bottom so it can move like so. This way I have uh, the full travel on the quill and I have nothing in the way so I can move the, the head or table in all directions and it won't hit anything. So let's make that. So instead of this 8mm rod, I will use this 20mm stainless steel rod. And I will cut it in, in over length and face it to the right dimensions or length.
this feels way better. Of course, this rod will um, in some jobs be in the way, but you can loosen it and just mount a shorter one. And if you need to use the full length of the quill, you can mount the long one. Normally I would only use just a little uh, 20 millimeter rod or something and just only use this uh, when I need to, to make a deep ball or something like that. But uh, let's, uh, let's test it with power on. As you probably can see, the head moves up and down, so that means the new arbor I have got for free from the car guy in the UK is a little bit um, bent or something. I need to remove the head from the arbor again and put it in the spindle and, uh, and run an indicator on it and see where the where it's bent or or have some um, run out but other than that i'm pretty happy with the with the result of the of the anti-spin bar or rod it do seems to work as intended there's a little bit of movement when I move the, the handle, but that's fine. If I would have used a normal rod mounted on the table instead, I will also have this um, movement. So this I'm, I'm happy with. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.